Hi, how you guys doing? Um, today's video is going to feature something from Wayne. Um, he has come out with a set of period accurate 1958 to 1960 Gibson PF pickups. Here they are.
I uh, bought this guitar sometime in year 2000, I don't know, early 2000. And apparently this guitar was manufactured in 1994. Um, and it comes with the Fire T and the 498R uh, pickups, the standard ones. Uh, I believe the Fire T is, uh, has ceramic pickups. And I like them, and they're, they're pretty creamy and nice for, uh, for the rockier stuff. Uh, but I was I was thinking like you know um, as I was playing more and more of this uh, Les Paul classic which I love that I wanted a set of pickups that doesn't have that too too much again you know too too much of a drive uh, too hot a pickups you know so I've uh, spoke to Wayne a couple of months back before this COVID nineteen thing happened. You know, well, apparently he uh, in his spare time <laughs> he's concocted up instead of period accurate. Uh, 1959 to 1958 uh, Gibson PFs, and it's uh, <laughs> something else. Uh, he told me the only thing that is different from the original pickups is the fact that you know, uh, what well, some of them of so some other companies have done uh, stuff like that, and they have probably like gotten the machine, to, you know, from from Kalamazoo or you know from Gibson original factory to kind of wind the pickups, but he has wind his pickups himself, hand wind. And he's trying to get uh, the materials as close as possible to the original PS from uh, Gibson in those period, in the, in the period of 1958 to 1960. And I applaud him for that, you know, for his tenacity. And he called me uh, a couple of days ago and says, the pickups are ready, Uncle John. <laughs> so I brought this down and he fixed it for me. I can You can probably see this on his photos. Uh, well, took out the uh, 500T and 498R, uh, which is really old, if you can see from the pictures, you know. Uh, they, they're really uh, well banged up through the years. And this served me well. And then he put on this new set of pickups, you know. Uh, I, I requested for a cover, so he has given me a, a, a set of uh, German nickel, uh, silver nickel uh, covers, you know. And, and uh, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty stoked about this, you know. Because, you, know, you know, for a guitar of this... This beautiful, it needs a cover pickup. <laughs> that's me, that's me, okay. So anyway, uh, I, I took it back home. I played with it for a while and I took it back home. I just put it in my case. I didn't want to, to do anything. And I waited for a couple of days and uh, yeah, until now. And I spent a couple of hours playing with it. I gotta say I was uh, very, very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I mean, I, I have no doubt uh, in Wayne's workmanship, but this is something else. Yeah, I really like how it sounds. Um, um, okay, if if I were to compare, like you know, the uh, the tonal qualities between the the original pickups, which is a five hundred T and a four hundred eight R, into this, this will probably have a little bit more bite. Um, yes, it's uh, what he says is true. It, you know, this this set of pickups will probably be more microphonic, in, in a in a musical way. You know, and it's true, it, it breathes a little a more dynamic range. I find um, the the previous pickups I find they are really compressed, probably because of the ceramic pickups. I don't know. Uh, so ceramic magnets, but it sounds a little bit compressed. This has a ability to open up a little bit, and, and it's great for dynamic playing. But same at the same time, you have the warmness of, of a PRF, and cool. And then when it comes to distortion, uh, this have a, a really have a bite to it. You know, it does. It's not as 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 say as creamy or as overdriven as the original pickups, but. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I, I kind of like the sound, and um, you can probably hear from the song and from the demos that this is how the guitars sound like right now. So I'm pretty stoked. And here are some specifications for these pickups. On the neck pickup, it has a 7.7 .7 kilo ohms output. The bridge pickup has an 8.5 kilo ohms output. Now compared to the original ones, you know these are significantly lower uh, than the original ones, of course. And uh, it doesn't really mean a thing because I've, to my experience, I've, I found that. You know, uh, the lower output uh, pickups, they actually uh, sound, they sound way better than the ones that are higher output, you know. And uh, but that's the way it is, and I think this is really apparent. You know, I'm not trying to hard sell Wayne's pickup, you know, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, you know, it's, it's a great set of pickups. In any case, we're going to have Wayne with us uh, on the next live stream, which is tomorrow, and probably you know, let him talk a little bit more about his pickups and, and what's the thought process and the whole process of, of making these pickups. You know, very cool. I'm liking this. <laughs> so tell me what do you think. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I want to thank uh, my patrons uh, who support me in this channel. So if you want to be part of them, um, you know, feel free to click the link in the description. So in the meantime, you guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next live stream. 
and um, ciao.